40,000 plus? Is that too less or too high? Hey, don't touch me like that. I'm respecting you. Hey, this ain't Israel. This ain't Israel. What God would be okay with how you guys are behaving and killing the Palestinian people? What are you guys doing? You guys are the same people who tried to kill Jesus. They blew up a church in Palestine and you're saying nothing. Condemn Israel for blowing up a church. Condemn Israel. That's me, SQ, confronting Zionist protesters at one of the largest encampment sites in the world, Columbia University. Images tonight, mass protests now at Columbia, NYU, MIT. As more and more students set up tents at university campuses across the United States, the world was watching. We are all Palestinians. Free, free, free Palestine. Columbia University is single-handedly responsible for starting the revolution that you've seen on your social media of university students camping out in solidarity with Palestine and against the Zionist regime. A clear battle between good versus evil. But for some, right and wrong are not that clear. You're a Hamas what? mouthpiece. Tell me this. You look like a Hamas they, mouthpiece. Why is that? Yes, he looks like a Hamas mouthpiece. So now visibly Muslim people look like Hamas mouthpieces. He looks like a Hamas mouthpiece. Look how tough no, he, he gets when you're there. He got in my face. Look how tough he gets when you're there. He got in my face. Look at this. Look at this. Stop him. Put your arms on him. Put your arms on him. Put your arms on him. But put your hands on him. But when he was calling me a terrorist, is that okay? I cannot. Is that okay? Have you both having an argument this here? Is what he stands for. This is what you should arrest him. You should arrest him. With the genocide in Palestine happening for over half a year now, and the growing support from non-Muslims increasing, I wanted to find out why are so many non-Muslims sacrificing to support this cause? Are you Palestinian? Uh, no, I'm Italian American. Wonderful. What, what's the passion behind this right here? Right? You know, people might ask, like, hey, you're not Palestinian, you're not Arab, you're not a Muslim. Why are you supporting this? What would be the answer? Because I'm Irish. Mm. And why is that special? Same empire, same struggle. Yeah. And the Irish people know best when they were uh, colonized by the British. You see, when a person has been through colonization, they recognize it. You're Irish. Yeah, yes. Yeah, he's Irish. He says we're all he Irish. Knows. The struggle against colonialism is linked to the struggle against all forms of oppression all over the world. Mm. And I would say that, you know, as a working class person, you know, I would say that that affects me personally uh, because, you know, like the police here, they're trained mm. also by Zionists. Yes, they are. IDF and yes, all that. Are. When we were out there during the George Floyd moment, yes. know, there was a lot of pro-Palestinian sentiment there too because even the people, everybody feels that what happens in Palestine affects us all. Absolutely does. It's just obvious. I have no reason. I'm just here. My heart told me to be here. Your heart told you to be yeah. here, right? You see, in Islam, we believe that the heart, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that, that there's one piece of flesh in our bodies, that if it's good, then all is good. And if it's bad, then all is bad. Yeah. And he said, that is the heart. You see, what's allowing you to be here right now is the heart of yours versus those who don't have the heart, who don't see what's right from right and wrong from wrong. It's enough, it's enough. 75 years of occupation, yes. it's enough. You know, they've been killing the Palestinian Yes. All over, all yes. the sun and everything. It's enough. It's enough. Honestly, it's enough. It's enough. Yes. For 75 years, I've been, you know, I've been looking. It's not gonna stop. It's getting worse and worse. You know, our government is, you know, we send sending money to them. We're paying for our taxes. For yes. What? Our people over here are struggling, right? Yeah. Our own people, our American people, right? Forget about all this. Our own American people are struggling, yes. right? Education is such a problem. Healthcare, don't even talk to me about that. Homelessness is out of control. Yet we have billions of dollars to go over there and give them. Yeah. Why is this the case? We, we are completely not understand, you know, uh, Israel is a foreign country. We should take care of American people first. Yes, America first. And uh, we cannot, you know, we cannot associate ourselves with the genocide. You can't. Very simple like that. You can't. Black people People in this country know genocide, so, and, and, and Palestine knows genocide, right? And we know apartheid. You recognize it. You recognize it's it. It's beyond interconnected, right? So yes, that's yes. what makes our fights, you know, family. That's what yes. makes all of us Palestinians. Yes. If you think about yes, it, it does. Right? So it's a, it's a beautiful thing to really be in solidarity with one another, but also Absolutely. to really like take over and, and dismantle systems that were are designed to be inherently and racist. It is. Oh, Thank yeah. you, my friend. Free Palestine. You got it. Free Palestine. Yeah, you already know, guys. It's clear to the average right-minded person that Israel's performing a genocide. So exactly what are these Zionists here to protest? Street? Dawa. Dawa is a news network from where? Yes, it's HNN. You heard of us? No. Halal News Network? I'm old. 
It's okay. It's okay. It well, is maybe okay, you have. Yo. It's it's you okay. Will be old, yes, God inshallah. Willing. God willing. Yeah, I mean, look. If I was in Palestine right now, that's probably a very low chance because the Israeli terrorists are bombing them. So the question is this: Why are you choosing to refuse the genocide that they're committing? It's not a genocide. It's a war of defense. It's defense. What are they defending? Why? What are they defending themselves from? Why? From another attack like October seventh. So has there been another attack? Of course not, because they're in there. Okay. So th so it's so why are they killing innocent children? Because Hamas and, and hides, them, hides them in schools with munitions and other military So targets. are you saying that I'm Hamas saying, is I'm hiding behind a child? Uh, yes. So when you see videos, Israel, when you see videos I, where... Um, no problem. Israel, you are done. Israel, I'm you Israel, and, and, and you've embarrassed yourself too. Oh, because I, you're, I have no sense of embarrassment ever. Nothing you, can embarrass me. I can tell. I'm Israel. I can tell. I, you lack self-awareness. I'm 49. Yes. I'm old enough to be very comfortable with you. Nothing bothers me. Respectfully. I hear that all the time. Respectfully, I know. Yeah, and you know, I, know. I can't tell how old you are because you're all covered up. I am covered up. Well, my glasses is over here. Identity. I'm not hiding my identity. Israel. This is me. It's you know, mashallah, barakallah. It's not sunny out, so I'm not sure why you need the sunglasses. Israel. Because it's my look. Well, I'm you Israel, okay. You're denying the look, fact. No problem. Crazy no problem. Person. You can deny this. Look. Oh, another, okay. another person. Ah. Could you tell us how do you justify the murder of 40,000 plus Israel, innocent okay. women, children, I'm men? Israel, okay. Quiet, quiet. Quiet. Why are you Excuse me. Out of nowhere, this prehistoric Zionist tries to rise up this woman, but she wasn't having it. Hi. You can go talk over there. I'm singing over here. I thought they were they were together. I'll talk to you. Yeah, I thought they were t together or something. I'm Israel, you don't want to talk. No? Oh, I thought you guys are. Are you on some Israel high thing too, my friend? No, I am a Jew and yes? I'm a Zionist. You're a Jew and a Zionist. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, hold on one second. I don't know why the Zionist thinks it's okay to play defense on me like this, but he clearly doesn't understand personal space. I, I said the number forty to forty-one thousand people. That's the estimate. No. Are you trying to downplay the number? Yes. Oh, you're going to downplay the number? Yes. What if they did that to the Jews in the Holocaust? How would you feel? Terrible. Terrible, right? So it's terrible for them, but why for you, us, you can lower it. Why don't you do an interview and stop yelling at me? Uh, who's yelling at Why are you so sensitive? Uh, because I, why are you so sensitive? I have, because I have she rejected you. She rejected you. Yes. She thought you was she's friends. Not. No, she's, she's, uh, nuts. she's nuts, but yeah. she's supporting the same thing you are. M that may be, but that doesn't mean anything. How are you going to call your own resistance member nuts? Because you gotta get on the same page, my man. She happens not to be a well woman. Well, that, well that's kind of rude for you to say. I know, yeah, but I'm I know. saying it. So, but if you're saying she's not well, who's to say that you're well? If you're the standard of well, if you don't believe that killing forty thousand plus people is not a genocide, you're not well. Does that make sense? Does, am I making sense? If you don't believe that killing over forty thousand people is not okay, you're not well. So it's like you guys actually belong together. Are you gonna shut up so I can say something? Uh, oh, that's how you talk. This is in Israel, my friend. You don't get to talk to people how you want to talk to. I'm, huh? I'm from Brooklyn. Okay, I'm from the Bronx. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, and listen, out of respect, I respect you because you're my Let me say a word. Because there's nothing for you to say if you can't acknowledge the 40,000 people that are killed and murdered. I have PTSD since October 7th. I have. Yo, listen to me, man. I'm respecting you because you have a Yankees thing on and I rock with the Yankees. Other than that, you could get lost, okay? Other than that, talk to me. I have PTSD since October 7th. Oh, no. October 7th changed history. Are you okay? No, I'm not Guys, okay. can someone give him a pill? He has PTSD right now, guys. Get him a therapist. Talk to him. You think that's funny? Uh, no, no, no. I think it's hilarious that you're ignoring the 75 years of occupation, and you want to point uh, it out to one what? day. You didn't ask me one question about occupation yet. Okay, go ahead. You're the most presumptuous person I've I have been interviewed. And good-looking. Got to add that to the list, too, I, okay? I'm much yes. better-looking than you are. You wish. I got my shirt on too. Okay, and I have a thobe on. This is Are a you carrying the thobe. Quran? Yes. Can I tell you something about the Quran? Oh, go ahead. One thing. Whew. Go and ahead. this is for everybody. Okay, go ahead. I don't know where Muhammad. this is about to go. Oh Muhammad. my God. Muhammad in the oh, Quran. My God. Oh my God. Muhammad in the Quran okay. says go ahead. that this area that we are talking about, okay. Palestine, Israel, okay. Greater Syria, the former Ottoman Empire, that that area belongs to the Jewish people. He does not. He show, me does show me the verse. Show me the verse. Show me the verse. Show me the. You're not that sophisticated, but somehow you know that. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. I think you need to recheck your wires, my friend. Okay, so forget about that. I am very upset. No, no, that was a really poor. I stay on that. Don't forget about it. Stay on that. Show me that. Who was it? It was the Muslims. When the Muslims 
took over and conquered the land of Palestine again from the Romans. It was the Muslims who established over 70 Jewish families back in the land. Why? Okay. Because it is important to the okay. Jews as it's important to the Christians okay. as it's important to the Muslims. Okay. This is what the Muslims did, my friend. Okay. What are you guys doing? You guys are the same people who tried to kill Jesus. You guys are now blowing up churches over there. I'm not presumptuous. That's the fact. Is that the fact? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, he's, whoa. he's trying to think of an answer, so yeah, you know, yeah, you gotta. Yeah. He said that we tried to kill Jesus. We didn't yes. try to kill Jesus. Some Jewish people and the Romans did kill Jesus. Got gotcha. you. It was the Zionist types of people who outed oh, him Zionist and talked to him. Types of people. Yeah. You know, where Zionists did, have been where around. Did you go to school. Huh? You? Where did you? I might have went to Columbia. Over here. Did you? Yeah, maybe. Where did you go to school? I went to Columbia. Did you? Yeah. Well, I guess we come from the same alumni, you know, group over here. You know, We're alumni, though. Education to talk to somebody. I'm sorry? You don't need a colonialist education to talk exactly. to somebody. Exactly. Exactly. You think that Columbia was a colonialist it's, education? It's the whole f country is a colonialist education. And absolutely, ma'am. Absolutely. I can't argue with such an overreaching kind of statement. The United States of America. It's just the fact. You just choose to disbelieve I've in that. This Zionist constant denial begged me to ask. Why are they denying that they're committing a genocide? So why do you think these people right behind us over here who are like, you know, waving the little Israeli facts, why are they failing to see this? Are they, are they just like, they have to support them no matter what? Is that like a part of what they are? Like, why do you think that is? Well, because number one, you know, they want to enable um, apartheid. They want to enable genocide. They want to, they, their goal initially was to ethnically cleanse Palestine. Mm -hmm. To get rid of the Palestine land. And yes literally wipe Gaza off the map and yes. they've realized that they can control every other country but Gaza so that's why they're so scared and nervous yeah, I, I think that liberalism is a bit of a cult. You kind of have to do like the uh, the double thinking mind to like disassociate from the evils you're associated with to have the comforts of we live in a polite and decent society so everything is okay and the killing doesn't touch me, the poverty doesn't touch me, all these things. Uh, you know, our biggest problem is, you know, dealing with like civil rights issues we have with like being able to protest like Black Lives Matter, which are incredibly important things, but we don't have to deal with the uh, complete oppression and that, you know, like Israel inflicts on Palestine. And so I, I feel like people just protect themselves mentally from having to engage in that and just, mm -hmm. like, oh, people just shouldn't die. Like, we yes. have peace. Whereas, like, you know, that's that peace is you can't have peace when your oppressors on top it's not peace it's you can't not, tell a, a person every day. a person who's kidnapped and they're being abused right you can't just say listen just make peace with your oppressor right. why don't you just live with them and just be okay it's yeah. not there is no peace until the oppressor is gone and eliminated right yeah what is to those who can't see this to be a genocide those who don't see it's wrong what is your message to them stop reading mainstream media mm -hmm. go to all of the art the people who are running their own columns and their own little websites who talk about this and define the terms and say, you know, uh, Israel is one thing, uh, Zionists are another. Yes. And what are we dealing with? We're dealing with property here. Yes, we are. We're dealing with property. And when I saw, for instance, um, some time ago, um, videotapes of Israeli residents being ushered out of their homes at gunpoint by the IDF so American buyers who had bought their property wow. could come in. And Ain't that something? I couldn't believe it. Yes. I, I said, this is not happening. This is what the Palestinians go through all the time. This is very common. Why are they still going through it? Why and why are our tax dollars still supporting this type of behavior? Well, that's the issue. Yes. Why can't we just, there's a box that we could check, be all like, right. nope. The next thing we need to look at is how many members of Congress have dual citizenship. Mm. There's a lot of hidden interest happening Number over two, here. Uh, is publishing a list of donations from IPAC and other organizations. Yes. To whom? Mm -hmm. I want to know who's getting money on this. Yes. SubhanAllah, the truth is so obvious. But this radicalized Jew operates by his own rules. He's a little older than you. Use his wisdom. Use his wisdom. Use his wisdom. Hey, don't touch me like that. I'm respecting you. Hey, the same Israel. The same Israel. The same Israel, my man. Tell him something. Look at him. Look how he was it. But no, 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 no. But hang on, hang on, no. But he can't touch my stuff either. Look how you let him get away. 
This is the problem with the NYPD. You guys are showing that you guys are more against us than them. I respect them. These guys are here to protect you guys. Okay, and I'm here. To, I'm here for the same thing. But, but you guys gotta be nicer today. But you time on. Oh, oh listen. Oh, more, more, more. Listen to me. You're not gonna touch my stuff and walk away with it. I didn't touch your stuff. I know he did, but he got away so with I'm, it, and they're stopping me instead of. I didn't touch you. They're stopping me instead of him. I didn't touch your stuff. I'm trying to call out the hypocrisy. But, but what are you talking about with me? I didn't know. Then why are you getting in a conversation? Mind your business. You came over to me. Nah, I'm having a conversation with them. To You're talking to me about the NYPD. I'm telling you that he just touched my stuff. Let me handle them. You're butting your nose into my affairs. Then you're like, oh, I'm not talking to you. Habibi, you just came over to me. Uh, Habibi. Yeah, you just okay, came over Habibi. to me. Okay, Habibi. Talk to me, you my man. 40,000 plus? Is that too less or too high? How many of those were militants? Uh, are you How saying the number is high or low? How many militants died? High or low? How many militants Should died? Should we go higher or How low? many militants died? Tell me men, women, and children. I don't know how many militants uh, died. How many, how many? Typical thing. Well, let me uh, guess. Me they're hiding question. behind human shields. Let me they, Let me show you. They've already day. killed. They're not raping because, oh, They're not oh, raping no. her. How do you know? What's your evidence? Well, I saw the videos. You I'm saw a recording. video of her being raped. recorded it. Guys, recorded he said he saw a video of her being raped. They've already killed her. They've already killed her. This is what you support. They already killed her. You spoke to your IDF. You spoke to your Hamas brothers? IDF killed her. You spoke to your Hamas Brothers? IDF already you blew up. You know what's going on? You see, when they blow you up Gaza, what you like? when they blow this up Gaza, like, they've this already is, killed her. This is what they've already likes. killed her. This is what no, no, no. Likes. Hamas hasn't done anything. He stands for Israel has. He stands for terrorists and kidnappers. Yeah. No, Marissa, this is what he stands for. Isn't that convenient? He said no one's raped. Right he said no one's kidnapped. No, they're not. They're not raped. Right. Why was it that when the people, why was it when the hostages came out, they were praised? You're lying. You're a liar. You're a Hamas mouthpiece. Tell me this. You look like a Hamas mouthpiece. Why is that? Yes, he looks like a Hamas mouthpiece. So now visibly Muslim people look like Hamas mouthpieces. He looks like a Hamas mouthpiece. He looks like a Hamas mouthpiece. He sounds like I wonder why. I wonder why. You sound like a Hamas mouthpiece. I wonder why. I wonder why. you sound like a Hamas mouthpiece. He's trying, to, he's trying to make out with me. You sound like a Hamas Look how tough he gets when you're there. Look how we live in a world where a man can perform hate speech openly in front of the NYPD. Look, look at him. Stop him. Put your arms on him. Put your arms on him. Put your arms on him. But put your hands on him. And they end up attacking all of these protesters for Palestine. And they have a biased approach towards those supporting human rights. And this fake Carl Winslow looking brother did absolutely nothing about it. Or you're both subject to arrest for disorderly conduct. Okay, so please, but, but clear the block. okay, I, I won't move. But when he was calling I me a terrorist, is I that okay? Cannot is that okay? Have you both having an argument this here? Is what he stands for. This is what you should arrest him. Sir, you should arrest him. Clearly, the police are in the Zionist back pockets. So I challenged this Jewish extremist and I asked a question that I needed to know an answer to. I think God gave him the land. Huh? God gave him the land. God gave him the land. So has God also encouraged them to kill the people the way they are? Well, I think the. Is that, is, is that what God would want you to do? Well, I think October 7th started it. So, right. October 7th didn't start it. It's been started, my friend. You gotta like rewind the tape a little bit more. Is God permitting you to do this? Killed in the year 2023 alone before October 7th. Before October 7th. So is God is God okay with that? Is anybody? What God would be okay with? Do you guys know who Josephus Flavius is? What God would be okay? Don't run away from the question. What God would be okay with how you guys are behaving and killing the Palestinian people there? What God would be okay? With? Well, 2,000 years ago, the Jewish people were kicked out of the land by the Romans, right? Okay. Have you read The Wars of the Jews? Okay. By Flavius Josephus? Okay. So I just wanted to tell What's you your point? that the historical anchor to the land, you know, is the Jewish people's land. For sure. Okay. So they, were so they, were, they were exiled by the basically, you know, the ruling empire of the world. Okay. So now they've started to come back oh, they started to their to land. Back. And yeah. there was people already on the land, true? Yeah, there yeah? were some people on the land. Yeah. There were some people on the land? Yeah. Millions of people on the land. For sure. And then Millions of people on the land. So, Not so, when you say some, it sounds like there were a few of them there. And you're like, yo, guys, can you, you know how we're about to play basketball? And there's people on your court, and you know you got the whole squad. You're like, yo, guys, we're about to run a full court. Can you get off? There's not some people, my friend. There were millions of people there who had business trades, who had lives there, had a whole community stuff there. And they were building, like, railroads and everything. They had a proper society. As I continue to press this Zionist for his genocidal behavior, this Christian extremist comes out of nowhere. Allah is saying, fight those who not believe. Yes. No. When was this verse revealed? No, just show me. Tell no, no, no. When it. was it revealed? What does that have to matter? It does matter. Context doesn't matter. Allah. Are you saying context doesn't matter? Doesn't Allah. Are you saying context doesn't matter? Those who not Are you saying Allah. context doesn't matter? If we are at war, I don't believe if we are at war, 
You can, you don't have to believe in Allah. You don't. Only at war. Because you see, you're ignorant. Because you're ignorant. You see, a person like you are probably the people who belong with ISIS and them types of people. You understand? Who don't understand the verses and who don't understand the verses and you take it for there. Allah tells you. What does he tell Allah us? Says tell us, tell us what he tells us. It's the Quran, the word of God. It's the the word of God. 100%. Okay, it tells me to follow the Injil. I didn't say Allah gives that. a command, fight those who do not believe. So wait, so wait, where, okay, so you said you're a Christian. Right? You yes, said you're a Christian, okay. So there is one of the oldest churches in, 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 in Palestine. It has a scholarship problem, okay? We all know that Jesus You see, ah, oh, I see what he said. I see what you're trying to well, do. Hold on. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. you see what you're trying First to do. First of all, what's God's your problem? Who wrote the Bible? No one even knows, my friend. They blew up a church in Palestine. They blew up a church in Palestine, and you're saying nothing. Condemn Israel for blowing up the church. Condemn Israel, condemn Israel, condemn Israel for blowing up the church. You condemn Hamas? You're a fake Christian. Condemn them for blowing up church. I love my brothers. No, you don't. No, you don't. Why aren't you condemning Israel for blowing up a church? They blew up the church, yes or no? All innocent lies. Oh, so hold on. So they're blowing up churches. Israel blew up churches, and you're not condemning them at all. This is Christianity for you guys. This is Christianity. No, no. So you you forgive, you forgive those Zionists who blew up your church. I forgive all those. We're all made an image Okay, so you forgive Hamas. We all made forgive hey, Hamas. Hey, Allah says we're all hey, made forgive image of God. He's so forgiving, yes? Turn the right cheek and forgive Hamas then. I would forgive Hamas. Oh, wonderful but then. But hearts has to be transformed. And only oh, Jesus does that. Jesus transforms it, right? So so when those Zionists, when those Zionists, was Zionists blowing up and destroying was the churches, is that okay? Quran has a problem. My friend, you're saying you're a devout Christian. Are you a devout Christian? Are you a devout Christian? How can a devout Christian be okay with someone destroying the most sacred place answer to them the which is the church you answer the question no you answer no Jesus he definitely wasn't that's Jesus the problem my friend how why no, won't you condemn problem. Israel right now look in this camera right now condemn Israel for destroying the churches I'm not condemning uh, it. Why not? The authority to condemn. Why not but you ask me do you condemn Hamas you ask me that question look, look, you see the hypocrisy out. you see the hypocrisy the Holy Spirit clearly left this brother and maybe entered this lady who seems to be trying to take a shahada. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below. But then we met this cowboy Christian. You're a Christian. Do you support this type of behavior? No. Why is that? Why is it that someone such as yourself could say no, but this person's all, ah, 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 ah. why no? My Lord said to love my enemies. Mm. God's already condemned this nation called Israel. Mm -hmm. They're not Israel of God. God destroyed his own temple in 70 AD. Mm -hmm. What we have today that's calling itself Israel is just another nation. Mm -hmm. God considers the nations worth less than nothing. Wow. So I'm asking that Christian a question, right? Yeah. In Palestine, they have one of the most historic uh, churches from 1800s, right? Israel, the Zionist state, has blown up and destroyed that church. Why aren't your Christian brothers and sisters, or maybe your friends are, but other Christians aren't condemning this type of behavior? Uh, first of all, Blowing up other people's property is wrong. Absolutely. Uh, killing other people is wrong. Absolutely. My God said, do not kill, and I believe that. Sure. My friend, first and foremost, I just want to shake your hand. Thank you for being actually a Christian of values over here. It became obvious that nothing would change these extremist viewpoints except for Allah's mercy. And only he can open their hearts. What's your message to a person watching there right now? There's a pro-Zionist person watching right now. What's your message to them? I hope... I hope you find the heart. <laughs> hope you find the heart. Yeah, I hope your heart finds you. Hope your heart finds you. Yeah. Because it seems like there's a disconnect over there. Yeah, there's a disconnect. Definitely disconnect. Yeah, huge disconnect. Huge disconnect. Like right up there. There's, there's one up look there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Show up there. Show up there. What is that guy doing? This guy. So Massive angry. disconnect. They're so angry. They're always so angry. They're always so angry. So we're, here to, we're here to spread love and... That's it. Like liberation, you know what I'm Wonderful. saying? Wonderful. <laughs> uh, my friend, let me ask you, has anyone given you a free copy of the Quran before? No, no. no? no. This is my I'll gift to you. Take care, my, so take care my friend. Thank take care, you. my friend. God bless you in free Palestine. What's happening in Palestine right now is a genocide of extreme proportions. And these university students standing with Palestine are freedom fighters. And remember, though guidance comes from Allah, we should never stop providing opportunities for people to return back to the Creator. And until next time, I'm out.